What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and this is episode, what I believe to be 44 of my Creed motherfucking Let's Play, but also episode 2 of today's Sunday Q&A motherfucking Let's Play. That's right, this is where I answer your questions, every single motherfucking one of them, as long as I haven't answered it a million motherfucking times. And last episode, we left off doing some side missions, and I think we're going to go do another side mission and finish out this Clan Wars storyline, because maybe we'll get a Slagger too. That would be really fucking cool. So, let's get back into the questions, and the first one is from Soul Raid. He says, although you said you weren't too fond of Ubisoft, what do you think of Far Cry and the Far Cry series, Far Cry 3? Uh, I did not like it. I didn't like the entire... Uh, Far Cry 3 series and fuck it. It's just, it wasn't really my type of deal. I, I played it on one of my Sunday Q&A Let's Plays and I just thought, you know, it was kind of, it was kind of booty. I didn't think, uh, I, I mean, really, it was just an all-around bad experience for me. If you want, you can go back and watch it, but nothing was working. Like, the cars were only going, like, two miles an hour. Fuck it. And I, I later found out that, uh, I guess... The game didn't work with my scuff controller trigger stops, and that's why, but, you know, I just had an all-around poor experience with the game, and I, I wish that I've never actually played it, which is kind of weird for a video game, you know, you think about it, you're like, man, you really wish you didn't play it? It's that bad? Yeah, it was that bad. So, let's go on to the next question, which is from Gary the Unicorn. Sorry about that. I dropped my motherfucking controller. That is, a uh, a terrible situation when you're trying to play a game and somebody drops the controller while they're doing a let's play. God damn it. So, uh, Gary the Unicorn says, if you hurt one of your subscribers' feelings, would you regret it or maybe not? Depends what you're talking about. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta drink lagers from this bitch. Alright, fucking... I'll drink your lager, I'll drink whatever you got to give me, baby. <laughs> so, uh... Depends how I hurt his feelings. If it was if it was something that I deliberately said to them on fucking Twitter or something, I might feel bad about it. I have snapped at a few subscribers when I was having a bad day. And I, I apologize later or I tell them, like, look, you know, now's not a good time. Can you hit me up another time and we'll fucking, we'll get there. We'll talk about it. We'll mention it, you know? But uh, if it's by something I said in a video or a topic that I had and he didn't agree with me, no, I'm not going to feel bad about that because, you know, these are my videos. I'm not going to feel bad about, you know, making my videos. I'm not going to let anybody make me feel bad for, you know, my own opinion. So, that's just how I feel. And uh, he also asks, uh, South Park, the stick of truth looks good. Would you agree? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with that. Last I heard, wasn't it being made by, like, THQ? Then it got shut down. I know at one point, like, Bethesda had to work on it somewhere around there. And his next question is, Show me your moobs. Um, I don't have any moobs, bro. No moobs. Uh, Cody Waterwall says, Mac, what advice would you give for people that have just finished school? And how can they get a job? Uh, fucking go out and put an application in, man. I, I can't tell you. Oh, shit. Uh. Yeah. Oh, they're all fucked now, baby. Woo! All of you, get styled upon. Oh. Oh, preacher. You're going down, baby. Yeah. Get rapier. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to do that so quick. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll just have to finish them all off. Oh. Oh. Stop judging me. <laughs> There's one guy left. You ain't gonna take me alive, Kappa! Boom! God damn. We, we just killed every single buddy in this motherfucking place. I feel bad about that. But, yeah, dude, uh, I mean, you gotta know what you wanna do, man. You gotta go out and find something. If not, then just go get a job just to get a job and have a little bit of money. It's never a bad fucking thing. So, uh... I can't tell you how to get a job. You gotta have that. You gotta have the drive and the dedication your goddamn self 
to go out there and find a motherfucking job. And I can't give that to you. I can't. The only thing I can tell you is if you don't get a job, you're going to be broke. And being broke sucks. Bitches don't fuck broke guys. You ever hear TLC? No, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. Yeah. Scrub is a guy that can't remember. <laughs> I love that shit, yo. Let's get to Veritas. All right. Here it comes, baby. Get to the showdown. All right. So, yeah. If you ain't got no job, you're a scrub, man. And bitches don't like scrubs. So, uh, that Irish gamer says, Jay, we know you don't like flying overseas, so if you're able to teleport to one place and then return home, uh, where would it be? But it can't be in the United States. Uh, Amsterdam or British Columbia, Canada. And if you don't know why, Google both those places and you'll find out. So, uh, the next question is from Stephone Fly. He says, Jay, have you ever been in an all-out brawl with your friends and somebody else? Uh, yeah, there's quite a few times that we've had some fucking couple big fights. Like, at least, like, four on four, five on fives. Like, fucking a couple times there's a... Oh, shit. I don't know which side I want to pick. Which side do we want to pick? The Zafford gives the slag, I think. And this gives the... Um... Fuck it. Let's just... <laughs> let's just let's just go fuck these motherfuckers up. Level 43, son. Oh shit. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh look at the big ass motherfucker grieving Tector, baby. You're done. How come I can't kill him? I couldn't get up off him. <laughs> die, motherfucker, die. I can't kill him. He won't die. That guy won't die. I think I gotta kill everybody else first. What do I gotta? Where do I gotta go? Get out of my way! Oh shit! That's not good. Oh shit! He came over to me. What up, son? Let's eradicate the hodunks. Fuck these hodunks, baby. Um, there's Grieven Tector. I don't know why they won't let me kill him. Why won't they let me kill Grieven Tector? Do they gotta do it? This motherfucker is super powerful. <laughs> He's like, he refuses to die. What the fuck, man? I'm beating the shit out of him. Um. The game must have glitched out. The game must have glitched out again. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Grieven Tector will not die. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there have been plenty of times that we've gotten into fights like that. And we've just fucking, you know, you, you fight. Look at, there's Grieven Tector again. Let's, oh, god damn it. What the fuck? Do I gotta shoot him dead or something? Look at him. He, he won't die. He will not die. Grieving Tector is mad. So, uh, the next question is from It's 707. He says, What is your opinion on Fallout 3? I think it's the best shit ever, he says. Uh, is it better than Grieving Tector? No, <laughs> like, Seriously. What the fuck, man? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and quit. Save and quit and come back and see if it'll let us kill him. But, uh, no, I've never played any of the Fallout games, so I don't know, man. I know, I know people are gonna give me shit for that, but, man, I've never played any of the Fallout games. I'm sorry. I wish I, wish I had something to say about that, but I don't. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> uh, Niha Shiva says, If you could fuck anybody in the world, who would it be? Uh, right now, it would probably be Emma Stone, man. Uh, she's like a young Angelina Jolie. Except she has tits still. 
Damn, that's... <laughs> that's fucked up, isn't it? That is really fucked up. We, we shouldn't go there. But, uh... Yeah, I got Angelina. I still fuck Angelina Jolie, even with her mastectomy and no boobs, man. I fucking, I lick her scars. I don't give a fuck. I lick her wound, her axe wound. <laughs> so, um, we've already tried this once. Let's uh, let's try it again. Be baby, what up, bitch? Let's. Oh shit. Yeah. Come back here. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Let's kill Jimbo first. Oh, shit. That's not good. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure we kill the Jimbo first, bitch. There we go. We got... Did we just get both of them at once? I hope we did. Because that motherfucker... That motherfucker wouldn't die! Like, seriously! Hey, what up, bitch? My bad. My bad. <laughs> and nothing drops, but... Man, holy shit! Fucking Tector the Invincible, man! Fucking grieving Tector the Invincible. That is, uh... That is terrible. Where do I turn this in? Hey! Give me my shit, baby! Woo, we got a Hulane, baby, a Hulane. I like that. I like that. So, uh, should we go down Lynchwood? Fuck it. Let's go down to Lynchwood. Uh, Lee Noel says, what is your favorite type of car? His is an Impala 1997. Uh, those aren't bad cars, actually. Those are, uh, you know, your standard Chevy. I think they're B cars. B bodies. Which is not a bad thing. They're actually pretty cool. Uh, wait. Why does it say go to wildlife exploitation? Um, I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. Fuck it. Let's go to wildlife exploitation preserve. Should we? I think we should. I think we got time, right? We got like 30 more questions left, so let me go grab a drink and we'll get this started. Alright, so Lee, an actually really cool thing that I do like about those Impalas are the fact that they have uh, the ROH wheels on them. Those things are amazing. The fucking... Oh, shit. I forgot Mordecai's helping me out. What up, Morty? Thank you. That helps me out just a little bit. So, I also like that. And, I mean, the LT1 motor is not that bad. I mean, I make fun of it a lot because it's not as good as the LS1 and the Opti, uh, you know, Opti Spark on them. If they get wet, you're pretty much fucked. Uh, unless you have a vented Opti, which came on the later ones. I think like 96, 97. But uh, I think I don't think they made uh, Impalas in 97. So I think only the 96s would have that. But uh, the 96 is the one you want anyway because they have the center consoles. And the center consoles were fucking boss. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool cars. My favorite type of car, though, is a Camaro or Trans Am. I'm, I'm an F-body type of guy. It's just... It's just who I am. It's just the type of cars that really appeal to me. Especially since they're really cheap. Anybody can pretty much own one. And I mean, they're really easy to modify. So, uh, next question is from Canandris. Canandris says, Sup, dude. It was really cool seeing Battlefield content previously on your channel. Uh, is there going to be any Battlefield 4 in the future? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm going to be playing the shit out of some Battlefield 4. I'm going to be playing it on PC and PS4, too. So, uh, look out for that. For sure that's coming. Uh, Maven Lou says, Hey, Mac, what's up to my question? If there's one uh, there's one car you could spec out your own parts with, what would it be and what would you add? Uh, I mean, man, that's, that's a hard question because there's so many cars out there. But, I mean, I've always been a fan of big fucking body cars, so... Oh, you scumbag, get back here. Get back here. I want to shoot his leg off, so he won't let me. Oh, you scum whore. Uh, maybe we aren't strong enough to come through here yet. They're level 42, and I can't equip my rocket launcher yet. My corrosive one we got last episode. So uh, we're going we're gonna to call this one a mulligan and get the fuck out of here. Because I want to get up to uh, where... What, what, what level do I need to be for that rocket launcher to use? Where is it at? Um, I need to be level 40. I need, 
I need one more level. So I think I think we should just go do another side mission because that we're gonna save that for the fucking let's play during the week because I do gotta get back to that. So don't let me forget about that. I do I do know I've been putting up. Oh shit, Nitro Stalker, baby, got a lot of XP for that too. It's pretty cool. So uh, I I do have a big uh big appreciation for the old Monte Carlos and the fucking Grand Nationals. So. I think I think I'll probably probably pick one of those up. I've never never had a really cool big car. My first car was a big car. It was an '85 Cutlass. So I'd like to have like an '85 Monte Carlo SS. I think that would be an amazing car to own. Just because have you ever seen them? They're so amazing looking. They're just oh my god! It just looks like here comes death on wheels, and he's ready to fuck you in the ass. <laughs> so uh. The next question is from Ben Town Ben Toen. Oh Ben Toen, alright. He says, What do you what do you think is the nicest thing, most thoughtful thing you've done in your life? Uh you know, since I am a mechanic, I do have a like I have an affinity for pulling over when I see people broke down on the side of the road. And I've helped out a lot of people. So I think that's probably one of the nicest things that I do on a constant basis in my life is if I see somebody that's broke down, I will pull over and I will try to help them as much as possible. Especially like uh, one of my fucking... One of my fucking neighbors that I used to live by, he was like really cool Indian dude. He was a doctor. Uh, his wife ran a fucking Dunkin' Donuts, you know. Real typical Indian family. That's not racist or stereotypical at all. That's just saying that they're a real fucking, you know, real typical fucking Indian couple. And he didn't know shit about cars. And he went to a fucking place and they were trying to charge him $500 to put in a fucking alternator. And I was like, man... That's fucking ridiculous, dude. I was like, dude, I'll fucking give you a hand with it. We'll get that shit done in just a few seconds. And I don't want to do that mission, Marcus. I don't want to do that. Let's do this mission here. Come on! Shut your fucking asshole. So, uh, Havoc. Havoc is back. And he says, hey, Jay, what car do you suggest I get for my first car? And I think, uh, you should get a shitty car. That's what you want, is a real shitty fucking car. Because you're gonna beat the shit out of your car anyway, so just get yourself, like, a $500, $600 car. I guess now it would be, like, more like $1,200, $1,500 car. Uh, you can't really find cars that run for that type of fucking price anymore. So, there we go. I did! There we go. Thank you, Marcus, for wasting my goddamn time with that fucking... Let's go with this. Where, what do we got? What, where's my Hulain? I can't even use that. Let's put my greed on. Yeah, 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 motherfucker. Give me my XP, son. Woo! We are so close to leveling up, too. So, uh, yeah, just get yourself a really... Really shitty car right off the bat, man. Because, like I said, you're going to fuck it up. And you're not going to be happy with it. You really won't be. So, uh, Havoc, he has another question. He says, being a mechanic, is it fun? And is it worth it? Uh, that that depends what, you know, what fun is. Do you like getting dirty? Do you like working with your hands? Do you like seeing something that was broken and fucking, now you want to fix it? And fucking, let's go ahead and do this mission, too. I like this mission. Let's, yeah, we'll go pick up the pizza. We'll pick it up, baby. Don't worry. But, yeah, I mean, if you if you like working with your hands, you like working outside, you don't want to sit in an office all fucking day, I mean, being a mechanic is probably the best way to get some fucking, you know, outside work done. I mean, it, you can actually do it anywhere, too. I mean, as long as you have a set of tools, you fucking, you know, you, you're good to go. You're good to go. You jack up a car, fucking, you know, move shit around, fucking bust shit up. And it's, it's a lot of fun, it is, but it's also a lot of work, it really is. So, you also want to, like, if, if you if you do work on cars, try not to like working on cars. You know what I mean? Like, don't take a hobby and turn it into a job, because that's when you start hating things. That's when you start fucking be like, man, you know, this is my job, and now when I want to come home and build a car for myself, 
fucking, I'm too tired to even want to fucking look at working on a goddamn car, you know? That's fucking, oh shit, why did Krieg just get loud as shit in my ear for no fucking reason, man? Look at all these motherfuckers. Hey, what are you doing, bitch? I'm a psycho. I am a psycho. Yeah. That is good. That is good. We just whooped some ass there. I'm very fucking happy with how that went. So, I mean, I, I like being a mechanic. I think it's a lot of fun. Will you think it's a lot of fun? That's up to you, man. You know, everything is what you make it. It's what you make it. So, uh, have fun with everything you do. But don't turn a hobby into a job. Krieg is too big to get in here. What? No way. I can't get in. Can I back up? Um... Are you fucking serious? Look at this shit! Gearbox! Wow! That is poop! What kind of bullshit is that? So you know what? Fuck it. Let's throw on... Do I have any rocket launchers that are actually pretty strong? No, I don't. So let's just put on a 12-pounder. Fuck it. Where is it? Oh, wait, we have the gratuitous Zooker. You know, we're just going to use a 12-pounder. See how that does. But, uh, the Jarrell. The Jarrell says, Hey, Mac, do you like the show Fast and Loud? Actually, I do. I have been watching. Oh, shit. I heard you, bitch. Give me my money back. How much did he take? How much did he take? Yeah. You're fucked. Oh, god damn it. Silence the voices is a pain in the ass. Woo! Oh, he ducked it. You can't duck it. I don't like that. I don't like it when you duck it. I think I just got robbed. Oh, shit, bitch. <laughs> so, we're making good time through this fucking, uh, through this mission. I'm surprised there's no Rouse up here. You're all gonna die, every single one of you. Woo! Alright. I'm happy with how that went. Oh, look! We got Iridium. We can buy more grenades and shit with that. I like that. So, uh, yeah, actually, I've been watching Fast and Loud lately. And I think that's actually a really good show. I think a lot more people should actually fucking check that out. Because it's like, it's a better version of Counting Cars. It really is. So, I, I think it's a good good thing. I think it's a good show. It's entertaining, especially the dude with the long ass beard. I also do like the fact that every time they bring a car into the shop, they try to do a burnout with it, no matter what it is. Every fucking time. That is the type of shop that I would run right there. That's what I want to do for a living. Exactly what you see on Fast and Loud. I want to fucking... Oh! Damn! Come on out, baby! Oh, ho! oh yeah! Oh, that wasn't good. Where did Ralph go? Damn! We don't even. Oh wow! Where you at, Mick? Where you at, Mick? Get back here! The whole fucking shit just got wrecked. I haven't seen that in a long ass time. Yeah, baby. So, uh, Douchebag Dicks. Great fucking name, dude. I swear, I wish... Could you imagine that? What's up, guys? Douchebag Dicks here, and I'm here to put it in your ear. <laughs> that would be my line. You, need, you, sir, need to start making videos. God damn it. Jesus Christ, Gearbox. I swear to fucking God. One, two... One, two. There it is, baby. Flinter's gonna die, bitch. Oh, shit. Get back here, Flinter. You're gonna die, bitch. Woo. I don't know why I switched weapons there. I was going for the fucking 12-pounder, but I didn't need it. Didn't need it. We did 
Oh, it's the poop hut. It's the poop. Look at the poop. That is gross. Look at all that poop. Come on, legendary. I've gotten legendaries out of this box quite a few times. Wow, we we just got fuck, fucking jacked on this shit. That's bullshit. So let's go ahead and quit. Save and quit, and we're going to go back to Sanctuary because we're level 4 ta and we're doing pretty good. And the reason we did this because it puts us back at the fast travel, and I don't have to go fight all those motherfuckers again because that's how we save time. It's how we save a little bit of a motherfucking time. And we're actually making good time here. So, Douchebag Dick says, are you a strict parent? Uh, I mean, as sad as this is to say, uh, I don't really have a lot of say in exactly, you know, a lot of my son's parenting because he doesn't live with me full time. So, uh, that's mostly up to his mom. If it was up to me, I would be a little bit more, uh, I would be a little bit more stricter than she is about certain things. Uh, she does let him play a little bit too much video games, but, uh, you know what? He's a good kid, and, I, I mean, I can't, I can't talk shit, really. I fucking, uh, doctor's orders. Oh, yeah, God damn it! I thought that was fucking, boop, sorry, my bad. I thought that was a fucking, God that goddamn Doc Mercy! Goddamn Doc Mercy! So, uh, we still have some more questions left. Let's go! Let's go assassinate the assassins. It's level 34. It's not gonna be too bad. So, we're gonna go fucking beat up some assassins. Maybe, maybe even an emperor will drop for us. We never know. You never know. So, where's. Where do we gotta go? South Paul Steam and Power. There it is. Uh, Jonathan Howlett says. I just ripped a tendon in my knee. It was the worst pain he's ever had. Uh, what was my worst pain? Well, uh, I, I know how you're feeling, dude. I know exactly what you're feeling. I've torn my ACL, my MCL, and my meniscus all at the same time. And it's not a, it's not a fun feeling. It really isn't. It's not something, like, especially like walking and fucking just getting around. A lot of people take a lot of fucking, they, they, they take that for granted. And it's not something you should take for granted. Let's, uh... Hey! Come on, bitch! Oh, yeah! You're gonna get fucked now. Right in the face. Boom, baby! Oh, oh yeah! You see how... How just... How terrifying Krieg is? He is terrifying. Boop! Look at that. All up in the face. And... God damn it. What a fucking scumbag. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that that's probably... Knee pain is a terrible pain. It really is. So, I, I, I'm gonna say that's that's probably one of the worst I've ever had in my life. But, uh, I think, I think emotional pain actually outweighs that. And that would probably be, uh, you know, like I said before, fucking... The death of my fiancé is something that... Really fucked my life up for a really long time. So, did we hit that guy? No, we didn't. Oh, we hit this guy, though. Uh, so, that that would probably be the worst pain I've ever felt would be the death of, uh, you know, my fiancé. The girl that I was, I was gonna marry. That's a terrible thing. You don't want to have to deal with that. I hope you never do. I, I, I mean, it's sad to say, but I hope, I hope you die before you have to feel any type of pain like that. So, uh, <laughs> that's terrible, isn't it? That's terrible. So, from Waga says, Indy 500 or fucking 24 Hours of Le Mans. Uh, I don't watch either, man. I mean, if it's on, I might catch it, but I don't make a point to watch that type of racing. Ow! Ow, I got blood all over my screen, baby. Uh, my type of racing I like is drag racing, NHRA style, quarter mile, baby. That's, uh... It's what I really enjoy, so, no, not really into fucking, you know, circuit racing. I, I, if, it's, if it's, like, if it's in person, I'll watch the shit out of it, but uh, as far as, you know, watching it on TV, it has to be a really boring day for me to put on, like, a NASCAR race or something like that, or open wheel racing and shit. Uh, it's just the type of person I am, you know? I, I don't make any excuse. Oh, shit! Fuck out of here! Fuck off with that shit, bitch. Oh, apparently I had to hit myself in the face again. 
Uh, we haven't done that enough this episode. So, Krieg was like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I want to know something. If, if Some of you guys should watch one episode. Write down every time I melee and every time I have Silence the Voices. See if it really is a 12% chance. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though, because... You know, I'm not a numbers nerd like that, but I know there's somebody out there that would fucking be like, you know what? That's good. I want to do that. I want to see if that actually is fucking true. Look at these, look at these motherfuckers. They're just getting wrecked. Everybody's getting wrecked. I poke you, stab you, put it in your eye, put it in your butt. What are you going to do? What, what, bitch? Woo. So, uh, Douchebag Dicks is back. He says, hey, Jay, do you, uh, oh, you scumbag. Fuck it. He says, do you worry about offending people? No, not really. Uh, I don't think there's anything worry to, to worry about offending people. Like I said, fucking, it's just, oh, that's Slag Fremonton Edge. We're going to have to get rid of 26 things. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, Christ. Let's get rid of that. That's actually pretty useless. Uh, the amp shield's pretty useless at this point. Uh, booster shield's pretty useless. Let, uh, slick revolver's actually pretty decent. Uh, let's get rid of the peppermint ace. Don't need that anymore. Forlorn rocket. Slippery rod I want to keep. Uh, these are all... Let's get rid of some of that. We'll just take that real quick. Just because, uh, you know... Oh, shit, there's a chest here. I never even noticed, noticed that. Fuck. But, yeah, like I said, don't don't worry about fucking pissing people off or fucking offending people. You know, I don't, I don't make any excuses for what I say. I know I say some fucked up shit, but you know what? That's that's me. I'm not gonna make any excuses for the type of person that I am. So, uh, Noob Slayer actually has a question. He says, Jay, do you wish you had a better childhood? You know, I used to. But before, after doing, like, my Road to 30, I've noticed that a lot of the things that I went through in my life are actually, you know, have helped me out later on in my life that I have a better appreciation for some of the things that are actually going on. And that's a, that is a very cool thing to realize and a very, uh, very grown-up thing to realize. Like, seriously, to be like, man, you know what? Maybe I am better off having, having a shittier life and being a little bit more, uh, appreciative of what I have, you know? Like, right now, this whole YouTube thing, man, like, you guys have no idea how much this shit means to me. The fact that there are fucking forty to 50,000 people out there that, that like me just for me, man. And, you know, they fucking, they, they know, you guys know of the stupid shit that I pulled as a kid. Uh, some of the things that I'm not proud of that I've done. And the fact that you guys still, you, you haven't judged me on it. You still stick by me through that. And that's, uh, that's pretty cool, man. It really is. It does... It does mean a lot, especially, you know, like I said, some poor fucking white boy from the ghetto just fucking, you know, making videos and having fun. Come on, baby! Bring it on, pussy. You're about to die. Let's, let's just throw some of these out there. Let's just, ready? Bam, baby! Boom! Oh, shit. Suck. Oh. Damn. Damn! Y'all just got knocked the fuck out! Like, seriously. <laughs> this is one of my favorite lines in the game right here. He said, he's, his was pretty funny when he just started putting marker on there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> they, they drew markers on these bitches and brought the corpses in, and he was mildly amused by it. That is great. Uh, no, like I said, Noob Slayer, I'm, I'm fine with my with my shitty childhood. Uh, he said, what is your opinion on Australia? Uh, Australia's one of those companies, companies, comp, yeah, fucking one of those countries that doesn't really fuck with anybody. And I'm cool with that. Like, you don't ever hear, like, people say, man, this world's going to shit because of Australia. You never hear that. You never hear that at all. And that's, uh, you know, I, I like to see, oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. I'll take that. We'll take that. So, yeah, like I said, Australia is just a real low-key, chill comp company. Fucking country. God damn, it's 4.30 in the morning. And I am talking this bullshit like it's fucking... Like it's going out of style. What what level is that right there? Level 40. 
Uh, I think things are scale with us right now. So uh, I don't want to take that until I get another order of shield. So we'll leave that where it's at. We're level 40, and we're going to go ahead and rapid fire the last few questions that we have for this. Uh, right? Well, no. We're about a half hour in. Really? Uh, let's fuck it. Let's go ahead and do the good, the bad, and the Mordecai. Look how much fucking mission XP that is. I'll take 10,000 XP. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. The next question is from Empty City. It says, Hey Jay, have you ever watched the show The Walking Dead? Uh, no, not really interested in zombies or zombie TV, man. I don't, there's nothing about it really interests me. I know, I see everybody talking about it. It's just one of those things, man, that I just, I, I have no fucking desire to want to watch it. And I know that's like, that's really close-minded of me. I know it's probably a good show. And I'll probably catch it once, like, everything is over. Like I've done with The Sopranos. I didn't watch The Sopranos when it was on. I waited for the entire series to be done. And then I watched it. And I, I like it better that way. I think because I I'm a very big person on continuity in what I watch. And if I'm watching something that has continuity like that, I want to make sure that fucking... Oh, shit, barrel roll, son! That was pretty cool. <laughs> I want to make sure, though, that if I can watch it, I want to be able to watch the whole entire thing in case I get into it. All right, so Johnny Blaze has the next question. And he says, Jay, who do you like more, Marilyn Manson or Guns N' Roses? Well, I think that's an unfair question because they're, they're pretty different bands. I mean, you got, you know, Guns N' Roses, who are your, like, quintessential fucking 80s metal fucking hair jam band. And then you have fucking, you know, Marilyn Manson, who is like, you know, I guess fucking your 90, well, yeah, I guess late 90s, fucking early 2000, fucking, you know, shock metal guy that fucking, what? Wow. I'm getting tired of beating people and them not dying today. Why is this happening? Why? I want to know why. So, uh. I, I think I'd have to say I like them both equally. However, Guns N' Roses does make one of my most favorite songs ever, and that is November Rain. That is, like, one of the greatest songs you could ever listen to. And, I mean, it, it's not even it's not even a debatable, like, subject. It's just a fact that no, there's no way possible that you can dislike, you know, fucking... November Ring. Even if you hate Axl Rose, you hate Guns N' Roses, everybody knows and everybody, like, appreciates the badassness of fucking November Ring. So, yeah, let's grab Carson here. Carson's all dead up. <laughs> so, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. The Class Clown says, Hey Jay, do you swear this much in public? Uh, like at a restaurant or something like that. That would be hilarious. Yeah, dude. I am who I am. This is who I am at every point and facet in my life. Now, do I go fucking up to a waiter and be like, hey, man, give me a fucking soda? No. No. But I might be like, hey, you know, what, what the fuck's going on? Something like that. You know, the word fuck always manages to get interjected into my fucking sentences. And I don't know how. It just happens, man. And it's not like something I do on purpose, but I do know that when I'm talking to somebody or, you know, fucking trying to do a little bit of business, that using the word fucking is probably a bad thing. I try to watch my mouth on it, but it just happens, man. I don't know why. It just fucking happens. So let's move on to the next question from Clock Base Team. He says, when will you start playing another game besides Borderlands 2? Uh... I play other games besides Borderlands 2. I do it on my live stream. Usually we play like Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, sometimes we play Borderlands 1. We do we do all types of crazy shit, man. You should check that out sometime. But no, seriously, uh, the next game I'm going to cover uh, probably in depth is probably going to be like Grand Theft Auto 5. I really want to do like fucking, I guess like mission walkthroughs and shit. Uh, you know, finding best ways to do this or finding the intel in the game or, you know, a cool fucking stunt spot, shit like that. 
You know, basically what I did on Borderlands, I'm going to do for Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a Let's Play on that because Rockstar is very heavy into fucking, you know, shutting people down and flagging their shit that shows spoilers and, you know, story fucking cutscenes. So I'm going to have to talk with Machinima to see how that's actually going to work out. But uh, there will be some type of Grand Theft Auto V content that's going to be coming on my channel for you guys. Uh, after that, we got Battlefield 4. Uh, the next year, we do have Destiny coming out. I'm going to be doing Destiny. I mean, these are all games that I just, you know, I have the idea that I want to fucking... Hey, stop that. Stop shrimping near me. I don't fucking like that. So, those are uh, those are games that I just want to play. And, I mean, there, there could be other games in there as well that might come out that might interest me. I mean, I, I do want to play Drive Club. I don't know if I'll do videos on it, but I do know that if you're looking to get, like, a game like Drive Club on the PlayStation, then you might want to fucking, you know, get down on some of that. Because, oh, shit. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming over. Hey, thank you. Look at these guys. They're just lining up for me to kill them. Just, I'm just fucking farming XP right here. Easy as pie, baby. Easy. Look, oh, look. I'll get my fucking... Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna get my bloodlust stacks up. Let's go, bitch. You wanna... You wanna get the bloodlust stacks going? Oh, you don't want that, baby. Woo. Look at that shit. Fuck yeah, pussy. Oh, what are you gonna do? You're gonna die, baby. Everybody here is gonna die. Look at it. See my blood stacks going up higher and higher? That's making my melee go up. That's gonna... Watch it. Look at these guys. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna... Oh, you're gonna shrimp. You're gonna shrimp on top of me, bitch. Oh, no. No, that is not good. Let's uh, get the fuck out of here. There we go. I knew that was going to be something either epically good or epically bad. Oh look, it's a warlord. He sees come down to play. These all come down to play. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, Dolphin. Is that going to hit him? No. Burn me, baby. Burn me down. Oh. Oh. Bloodlust stacks, baby. That didn't work. I guess I gotta be like right underneath him. But that's alright! That's alright, look, I got bloodlust stacks galore. Oh, that gave me 20 bloodlust stacks. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That is amazing. Oh, how much is this guy gonna give me? 99! Woo, max stacks, baby! You can't stop me! We don't even need guns, bitch! Don't need no guns. I just smack bitches. Look at it. Pry this shit out of the way. Sorry, Carson. I had to hit myself in the face before I could talk to you. Oh, what do we got? Melee damage, 31%. What does it give me? Fuel the blood, though? Oh, what is fuel the blood? That's over here, isn't it? Yeah, kill an enemy, blah, blah, blah. That, even though it has more melee damage... It's not boosting any extra skills for me, so we're, we're going to leave that there because it's actually, it's a placebo. It's a placebo. It's not going to give us more. So, uh, yeah, that's, there's going to be more shit coming on. I know I know you guys are feeling Borderlands 2 is getting a little stale. Trust me, I'm feeling it too. I'm feel, That's why I keep talking about Hyperion Moon bases because it needs, oh, shit. Yeah. Hey! Woo! Alright! Oh! Oh, you're so getting it, super badass loader. Give me my health back, bitch! Oh! Oh, yeah! Come on! Never stop the killing! You're. Oh! Can I. Oh! It went off the way! It went off the way, baby! He needs to come down here! Get down here, baby! Oh, shit! Yeah, oh, I thought my fucking singularity grenade was gonna yank him down. It didn't yank it. Sorry, guys, I tried to yank him for you, and we, we couldn't get any yanking going on in this episode. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Where's he at? Where's he at? Get back here. 
You're not getting away that easy, motherfucker. So, uh, the next question's from N. Patrick, uh, K. N. Patrick 12. He says, I'm fairly new to your channel, but what car do you currently use as a daily driver? Uh, I have a Saturn Ion. I have a Saturn Ion that is bought and paid for, and when we bought it, it was $10,000 brand new. Like, literally, brand fucking new off the lot. So, $10,000 for a car that has a 100,000 mile warranty is not that fucking bad. He also wants to know, uh, what kind of cars do you fix up and sell? Uh, pretty much, like, you know, beater cars, like, Fucking, I'll find them for like four or five hundred dollars. Then I'll flip them for like fifteen to sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. Then I'll take that and I'll fucking buy a better car, flip that for like twenty five hundred, three grand. Then buy something that's like, you know, like a fucking Camaro with a blown motor for like fucking, like, I guess, I don't know how much you would call, like, maybe like twenty seven hundred, thirty two hundred, something like that. Jesus Christ, bitch! Hey! Bring it back here, motherfucker. Uh, he's not gonna do it. Let's, uh, let's give him one of these. Woo! Yeah, baby! That works. That works for me, son. So, uh, yeah. That's what I do is, like, I'll start out with a really shitty car because, you know, if you start out with a really, you know, crappy car that's really, you know, low in cost, you're not really, you know, you're not risking a lot. $500 if you lose that money on a flip... It's not that bad. It's not as bad as fucking, you know, spending $5,000 on a flip that's not going to fucking pan out. That, uh, that would suck ass. Especially having to lose that type of money out of there. So, where do we got to go? Where do I got to go, baby? Where's the stash I got to dig up? Uh, is this it? Nope. There we go, baby. Is that, the yep, there it is. <laughs> so, Let's move on. Dylan Walker says, Jay, do you have a favorite comedian? If so, who is it? George Carlin, man. George Carlin is the man. I don't even have to explain that. Just go watch George Carlin. You'll be like, God damn. This guy's funny as shit. You know, rest in peace. Rest in peace, motherfucker. So, uh, Pokey Tech Schrader says, Mac, do you still play Halo 4? No, I traded that in a long time ago. Because I bought the game for Griffball, but Griffball wasn't in it. Then I traded it in, and I shit you not, two weeks later, they added Griffball in. Hey! What are you doing, bitch? What are you... Hey! Fuck you! Oh, you scum whore. What? Can I hit him with this? That's not good. All right, I, that actually, oh, I almost killed myself. How hilarious would that have been? Oh, we got Iridium. Take my Moxie Endowment. Woo. All right. None of this is any good. I don't really want any of this, you guys. Actually, that Lumpy Root, no, we're going we're gonna to stay away from Lumpy Roots again. Let's, uh, let's not get back into that. So, uh, the next question is from Mahira Mororo. And he says, do you play any of the Assassin's Creed games? No! No! I am not an Assassin's Creed fan at all. I think that is probably one of the worst series. I'd rather play Far Cry 3 than Assassin's Creed. Uh, it's just, go here, climb this, talk to this guy, fucking sit next to this guy, Kill this guy, go to another city, and do it there. And if you walk faster, if you walk on a horse faster than a fucking cut hair grows, you get murdered. But that's the damn truth. That is the damn motherfucking truth about Assassin's Creed. And I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. But, uh, he says, have you heard Ben Franklin's speech on why taking older women's lovers is a good idea? No, I haven't. But I, I know taking women, you know, older women as a lover is a good idea because they're more experienced. They know what they're doing. Sexually, they're in their prime at the same time that a man is in their 20s, but a woman would be in her prime in like her mid 30s to late 40s. Uh, late 40s, late 30s, like mid to late 30s, somewhere around there. And also, you know, women know what they want at that age. They know what they want when they're a little bit older, and there's no head games, none of that bullshit. 
Cause you would like fucking girls are like, oh, I want you to buy me this, 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 and this. Be like, well, are you gonna lick on my balls tonight? She's like, no, no. Be like, well, no. You don't. You don't get any extra privileges if I don't get any extra privileges, bitch. You know, you want you want me to fucking take you out for a nice dinner. I'm gonna want you to lick my teeth every now and then. You know, it's, it's just it's just how it is. Some sometimes you need a teeth to be licked. <laughs> so, uh, the Droags says, Mac, do you like to play Borderlands 2 anymore? I like playing it, but I mean, it does it does have its moments where I'm like, ah, god damn it. I don't want to fucking do this, and that's why sometimes you only get one video that day, because it's like, maybe I'll, I'll make a video, and then I'll just be like, you know what, I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the fucking day, you know? Just, uh, some days you're just not feeling it, and that's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all, because, you know, just some days you don't have to, you don't have to like everything you do all the time, you know? That's just, uh... That's the that's the matter of fact about it. But no, I like Borderlands 2 as a whole. But there are a lot of things that lately have been piling up and make me just like, God damn Gearbox, you you need to fucking listen to me, God damn it, all right? Because you know a lot of people are feeling very frustrated at this point, and they would like to not feel frustrated. Let's play the piano. Let's play the piano. There we go. It's not gonna work. Oh well. There we go. Play the piano. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. XVADJ7 says, Have you ever played StarCraft? If so, what's your opinion on it? No, I haven't. I'm not a real big fan of point to click uh, type games. I just. I don't feel the immersion in it. I just, I need to physically be moving my character in some way, shape, or form. That's why I don't like League of Legends, because there's no WASD format that I can kind of move around and fucking maneuver places and, you know, have complete control over my character at all times. Uh, and Abid Nadir says, do you watch or read Game of Thrones? No, I haven't. That's another series that I'm waiting to see, you know, exactly... Uh, what, what what it's about once it's finished, and I watch the entire series at once. Uh, he also asks, uh, "What do you think about the Breakfast Club movie?" Uh, you know those John Hughes movies are actually pretty good. Uh, Weird Science was cool. Uh, Breakfast Club. I'm pretty. Sure, what was that other one they did? Uh, Sixteen Candles. How can you forget about Sixteen Candles? That was. They're all good movies. All fucking good movies. And uh, next question is Furby Lover. Says, will you ever consider going to Southern California? Ah, uh, one day. I just wouldn't want to move there. But I wouldn't mind going to South California for like a day or two. Hang out and then fucking, you know, go back up to NorCal where I enjoy it. I enjoy NorCal very, very fucking much. Uh, Pissed Master says, have you seen the movie Taken? Yes. Would you do that stuff for your family? Hell no, man. I don't know the first thing about hunting down international terrorists. I mean, I would try, but, I mean, real, really, like, the reality of the situation is I'd probably take a plane to the area where they were taken and then pretty much, you know, just call the cops there and be like, hey, I need some help because, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a CIA agent like that guy was. <laughs> so, uh, probably not. It's just an unlikely scenario. Uh, it says, Mac, if you had one year left to live, what would you do? I'm happy with what I'm doing right now. I'd do the same thing I would do every fucking day. I would just take a little bit more time to, you know, actually appreciate some of the things that are in the world, you know? I mean, just like a sunny day, rainy day, whatever. I wouldn't complain as much. I would just keep doing the same thing I'm doing. I just wouldn't complain as much. So, Vanguard Rider says... When is the Tiny Tina Assault on Dragon Keep DLC with Master Kiz, Yote Slayer, and Trent Kill? Uh, Master Kiz backed out of that. We all know that. He, uh, he had a lot of problems, like, with the, trying to get the scheduling down and being able to do, uh, fucking, like, I guess, you know, be on our time schedule, which is kind of sad because I would have, I would have, I would have scheduled a day or two around his time to make sure we can get him in on that Let's Play. But, uh, I guess Yo Slayer got busy and he just really 
kind of just dropped it. Kind of never really talked about it again. I, I, I mentioned it to him on Twitter, too. And I was like, hey, dude, it kind of sucks that, like, you know, we didn't get to do that Let's Play. It's a good thing that I didn't fucking... I told him this. It's like, it's like, it's a good thing I didn't hold off on posting the Let's Play because you were fucking waiting on you. Uh, I went ahead and I did it solo by myself on Xbox because I contacted you on Skype, you know, a few days beforehand. And I was like, hey... You know, let me know what you're doing for the DLC. Uh, he didn't get back to me, so I proceeded like we weren't going to be doing it. And I was right. I was right. He kind of kind of blew it off, kind of blew us off, and uh, it's kind of shitty. It's kind of shitty. So let's move on. Tyler Yerusha says, what kind of computer do you have? I have a CyberPower PC. If you go onto my About page on my channel... You can actually see it right there. Alright, sorry about that. My voice just started getting really shitty all out of nowhere. Like, it was just like, fuck you, you're not going to be able to talk right now. For no reason at all. So, uh, I do have a CyberPower PC. One of the computers is an i7. The other is an i5. The i7 has an NVIDIA Titan GTX 6GB video card. And 32 gigabytes of RAM. That is a... Uh, a pretty amazing computer. The other one I have has a 7950 video card. Two of them actually cross-fired 16 gigabytes on the i5 with, uh, you know, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's a uh, pretty beast as well. I, I actually have two really good gaming PCs, and I thank my lucky stars every day that, you know, I struck a deal with CyberPower that they fucking hooked me up with some really cool shit. So, uh... I directly miss says two questions. What do you think about console exclusives? Uh, it is what it is. It's it's business, man. You know, you gotta you gotta go along with the business. He says he doesn't want to pay three hundred dollars to play one game. You don't have to. You just you don't have to play the game. So he also says, what do you think is better for the Forever Alone build, the Sheriff's badge or the Shadows of the Seraphs? Uh. I'm going to make a guide on the Shadow of the Seraphs. I have some really, really interesting news on that to let you guys know how that's going to happen. But uh, I, I'll, put that, I'll put that up this week for you guys, and you guys can see exactly why I don't use Shadow of the Seraphs. But uh, EC Graves says, Hey, Jay, how's it going? Would you ever fuck a porn star? No, but I wouldn't mind watching them fuck each other. Like two bitches banging each other? Awesome. Uh, but no, I'm not banging a porn star, just kind of, you know, you might as well just ask me to go stick my dick in a random bitch, because it's pretty much what it's like. Pretty much what it's like. So, uh, Happy Trees with a Bob Ross painting picture, that is awesome, says, uh, how's it hanging today? A little to the right? Yeah, a little bit to the right today, actually. He says, how is it going back to the Xbox and being limited at 30 frames per second? He recently bought a PC, switched to the, uh... Borderlands 2 on the PC, he runs at over 60 frames per second. He can't play Xbox anymore. This is exactly how I feel. It is terrible trying to go back to the Xbox version of Borderlands 2. And that's not knocking anybody that plays the Xbox version of Borderlands 2. It's a, it's still a damn good game. It's just when you look at it on the PC and you play it and you see how fluid it is, how fast-paced all the action is, it just... The, the Xbox version just feels dated. So, yeah... I feel the same way. Uh, Craig Sheeran says, Would you ever play Black Ops 2 Zombies with Yote Slayer? No. Uh, I played Yote Slayer Zombies with him once uh, on his live stream. And I didn't really like it. I told him, I was like, he's, he's like, he's like, did you have fun? And I was like, no, it was kind of shitty. Didn't really enjoy the game. And uh, it's just not my cup of tea, man. I'm not... I'm not a zombies dude. I'd rather bang my face against the plate glass window for like three fucking hours straight than play zombies. It's just, it's not my thing. Uh, Chrissy Kin says, Jay, are you into games like Dead Island? I like Dead Island. I think it's pretty cool. And she says, or Telltale Games, Walking Dead. No, no, that's not even a game. It's an interactive storybook. And she says, I think it would be a lot of fun to see you play those games. Uh, I played Dead Island on live stream sometimes, so, uh... Might want to check that out sometime. Uh, Matthew McGinn says, I wanted to know what it's like being the lead singer of Faith No More. You want it out, but you can't. <laughs> I'm just joking. I am not the lead singer of Faith No More. God damn it. 
Uh, Bob George says, what is a good way to make a little money without going to work? Um, you got to find that out for yourself, dude. You got to find out what you can do, what skills you got. And uh, Bob George also says, are you going to do a Let's Play on Borderlands 1? Uh, if so, what character? And are you going to do it with Yo? Uh, well, I've already done a playthrough 1 and playthrough 2 with Lilith. I went through that game on my Sunday Q&A Let's Play. Feel free to check that out. Uh, will I do it with Yo? No. Uh, we've already tried having a fucking Let's Play with Yo Slayer once. It didn't work, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking hold my breath for it. Seriously, like, honestly, it's just, it's, uh, you know, look, the guy's busy. The guy's busy. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste any more of my time or effort to try to fucking put together a series with him because he, he's obviously too busy to fuck around with somebody that, uh, you know, was really excited to fucking work with him, but, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Fuck it, you know, right? I fucking, I, I grew the same amount on the fucking DLC that I expected to anyway, even from the Let's Play. Like, I, I didn't expect exorbitant numbers. I was like, you know what? A couple extra fucking subscribers isn't gonna be a bad thing. Uh, I, I was actually, uh, you know, I, I, I figured, you know, hey, I, I know I'm gonna pick up a few extra subscribers, but I wasn't expecting like thousands and thousands and thousands and you know, I got a fucking couple extra hundred subscribers from this DLC, so I, I did well on my own. I don't, uh, I, I feel good about where I'm at right now. And it, it, you know what? Another thing is, is, you know, if I did that Let's Play with them and I, and, and something happened and like magically I blew up over fucking night, right? Then people would be like, oh, well, yeah, you wouldn't be anywhere on YouTube if it wasn't for blah, 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 blah. And I don't want that on my channel. And the fact that, you know, I'm doing just fine without anybody else me means I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick to myself on YouTube and do me. Just do me. So, Arctic Wolf said, could you play The Last of Us again if you had an Xbox style PS3 controller? No, it wasn't just the controls, the actual controls movement. Of the game wasn't as fluid as I wanted it to be. Uh, the game was kind of slow and boring, and I didn't like the fact that there was no mini map and the on-screen indicators were tiny and I could barely find them. So, no, it just it wasn't the game I thought it was gonna be. It wasn't what I thought. So, uh, Brian Courtney says, Mac, we all know you have long hair, but how long is it? It is down to my ass, and I get it cut like every six fucking months to make sure fucking. You know, number one, that it doesn't get too long and that my hair doesn't die. And number two, also because they fucking give it to the cancer kids for locks for loves and they, they make like wigs out of it. And I have really nice hair, so, you know, it's a, it, it's just something I, I do, you know. I think think it's nice to, you know, I, I have, you know, pretty decent hair. Why why not share that gift with the world? And uh, G Quits, last question of the day, says, have you watched the Boondocks? I have. I have, I prefer the comic strip that was in the newspaper. Though. That's where I know that from. So, that's it for this episode. And god damn, my voice is strained. I think I'm going to take a break from talking for like the next day or two. Maybe I'll put up like a music video tomorrow or something. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going to give my like voice maybe like a good 24 hour rest. Maybe drink some tea in between. Uh... Cause I, I don't want to lose it again. When I when Borderlands 2 first came out, my first like bunch of videos is like, hey, what's up guys? I'm sick. I don't know what's wrong with my voice, but here's the video. That's pretty much what it was like. But you know what? I still made videos and I still didn't miss a day. So uh, very few people out there that have that same type of work ethic that I do. Uh, and that's that's fucking. You know the world would be better if people had better work ethics. So uh, G quits. Yes, I have seen the Boondocks. And I like the comic strip. And that's it for this episode. My name is Jay. More than Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it. Because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that are watching my motherfucking videos. And seriously, I do want to thank you guys for watching. It does mean a lot to me. And I'm going to see you guys later. <laughs>